in this video we are going to see the, the chapter of fundamentals of capital budgeting means this video uh, this chapter belongs to the investment process okay for example first formula let's write the formulas first formula belongs to payback period okay payback period payback period means if an investment in one project how much period the investment will be back okay agar koi project mein investment kare to kitne years mein wo wapis aa jayega investment okay when cash flow is equal when cash flow is the cash flow are equal okay at the time the formula is investment divided by cash flow okay a very easy formula when cash flows are unequal payback <coughs> period when cash flow is unequal when cash flow is or when cash flow are unequal okay for that purpose the formula is pay back period in previous year in previous year plus amount to be recovered divided by cash flow next year okay when the cash flow is equal payback period means if we invest if we investment in we did investment in one project then how many year how many years it will take it will take to back uh, means to get our investment back okay now average rate of return if we investment in a project okay averagely how much rate we can earn from this project so that is known as average rate of return okay arr in short form it is known as arr average rate of return the following formula will affect it. this average profit after tax divided by average investment average investment okay for that purpose for the calculation of average profit after tax first we have to calculate okay here is a exam average pat profit after tax for the how to calculate total total profit after tax divided by number of years number of years okay this is how we can calculate average profit now average investment for this average 
इन्वेस्टमेंट टू कैलकुलेट एवरेज इन्वेस्टमेंट एवरेज फॉर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एवरेज इन्वेस्टमेंट वी हैव द फॉर्मूला दैट इन्वेस्टमेंट माइनस इन्वेस्टमेंट माइनस क्रैप डिवाइड बाय टू प्लस स्क्रैप दिस द फॉर्मूला ओके एज वी न्यू द फॉर्मूला फॉर डिप्रोसिएशन फॉर्मूला फॉर डिप्रोसिएशन इज Investment, investment minus scrap value divided by number of years. Okay, this is how we can calculate the average. Now, net present value. Formula for net present value. Net present value means if we investment in any project, if we investment in any project, how much net present value we can get from that project? That is known as known as net <coughs> present value (NPV). In short cut, is it is known as NPV. Okay, and this for to calculate this, the formula is total present value total present value minus investment. This is the calculation for. NPV. Now we have another formula for probability index. Probability, probability means chances. Probability, probability index. Okay. To calculate the probability index, we have the following formula. Total. Total investment divided by sorry total present value, not total investment. Total present value divided by investment. Now six. Is IRR. IRR means internal rate of return. Internal rate of return. Internal rate of return means if we investment, if we did investment in any project, how much percentage of profit we can get back? Okay, we calculate here internal rate of return. How much percent of profit we can get from this investment? So we calculate it is in percentages. Okay, to calculate that percentage, we have to calculate the following formula. We have to write the following formula, and that is lowest rate plus positive. NPV divided by positive NPV plus negative NPV negative NPV into difference in rate. Difference 
in rate okay this is how we have to calculate the following formulas of fundamentals of capital budgeting means investment formulas this is the main which uh, formulas which is used by the management to make the decisions for investment example if we are investing in a project how many years it will be we will get back our investment for example here is the problem x limited intend to invest 1 lakh rupees on a capital project the project generates annual net cash flow 15000 per month okay or 15000 per year for a period of 8 years at the end of 8 year the project will be salvage means remaining 20000 calculate the payback periods so here now let's calculate the solution for this question how to calculate the payback period when cash flow is as we see in the question let's start the solution for question number one okay first write the year one two three four and five here write the cash flow okay 35,000 and again 35,000 cash flows are equal again 35,000 35,000 again 35,000 so what is the formula for when cash flow are equal means investment divided by investment divided by cash flow in question investment is given 1 lakh and cash flow is 35,000 so if you divided this we will get 2.875 years so we get our investment back in 2 years 8 months 7.5 days okay this is how we can calculate payback period when cash flow is equal.